Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Misty Wells, thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show. Well, thank you for having us. We're so excited to tell you about Go RVing. That's right. I was told you're a girl that likes fishing, hiking, skiing, and RVing is the way to catch up on your fishing, hiking, and skiing. Absolutely. I mean, it's the greatest way to experience the outdoors, and you get to do it in comfort. So I really do like that as well. Okay. If you're thinking of an RV, what type of RV works best? How do you determine what's best for your trip? Well, how I did it is I went to GoRVing.com. And for the trip that I was planning, it helped me decide which would work best for me size-wise and for where I was going. Okay. So it, it, I guess when you decide on an RV, first you must you need to rent it rather than buy it, and that way you'll have a better understanding? That's what I would recommend. Um, you definitely want to test drive a few, take a few trips, and that way you can decide which one works best for you, for your needs, for your family, and has all the amenities that you want for sure. Okay, so if you're new to RVing, how do you find out what campgrounds to stay in or, or what's, what's good for you to park in? And I am new to RVing and I'm a big fan. And the thing that was really helpful to me is I went to GoRVing.com and that was able to give me all the information that I needed, uh, where to go, what to bring, a lot of tips and tricks to help me be a better RVer, especially as a first timer. Okay, and so is there, there a, like a campground 101 for us? <laughs> well, you know, there's actually a great campground by you. It's called the Blue Bonnet Ridge RV Park and Cottage. It's in Terrell, Texas. But there's so many wonderful places. And what you can do is go to RVing.com, put in what type of trip that you want, the location that you want to go to, and it'll give you a lot of different options of campgrounds along with a list of all the amenities. But one thing to remember, too, is when you're in an RV, you don't always have to be in a campground. You are self-sufficient, and you can really go and camp anywhere you'd like to. So I should just try it for a weekend and just kind of see, you know, learn? Absolutely. You know, that's what I did. I just hopped in my RV. I did a little nice birthday weekend for myself, did about three days traveling around New Mexico and had a blast and just kind of went with the flow, had no agenda and stopped where I wanted to stop and just had a great time. I love the freedom. Okay. I've got a Facebook post. I've got a lot of single people in my audience and uh, a single woman wants to know, uh, can she, you think she can drive an RV? She's single, and but very independent. Absolutely, and that's why I chose the RV that's behind me. I had a great Winnebago. It was uh, so easy to drive. Uh, you know, I went on a solo trip by myself, and it was very easy to figure out. I had no issues whatsoever, and I highly recommend it. It is not intimidating at all, and you really need to get out and do it. You're going to be so glad you did, and once you do it, you're going to be hooked. All right. I'm going to take one more Facebook post. They want to know if they purchase an RV, where do you store it? In a garage, a storage unit? There's a lot of different options if you own your RV. If you can't keep it at your house, there's a lot of different storage places where you can even have exterior and interior storage uh, is a great option for you as well. Misty, where can we find out more information, especially those people who've been on the fence about an RV? Where can they go and get more information? 
So if you're on the fence and you're not sure, I highly recommend go trying it. You've got to go to GoRVing.com, and that'll kind of get you started and give you all the information that you need. And I highly recommend going to rent one first, do a few trips, and then I know that you're going to be hooked on the open road. Misty Wells, I know you love the outdoors. You raise your children. I do. And thank you for being a guest on the Valder BB Show Talk About RV. And it's going to eventually warm up, and we're going to warm up to RVs a little more, too. Absolutely. I know you will. Thank you so much for having me.